top five NYCC Funko Pops that you can invest in. Maybe. Hey guys, got another investing video for you today. Before we get into that, I have a little something something sent over from Seven Bucks a Pop, so we are gonna unbox that, go through that, and then we're gonna get into the other good stuff. These are the brand spanking new soda tubes from Pop Shield. These soda tubes come in different packs. You can get a six pack, 12 pack, or a sealed case of 72 of these tubes. And all of those prices are including shipping in the US, which if you think about it is actually a really good deal. These tubes are built using lightweight yet sturdy acrylic plastic to protect and display your most cherished Funko Soda vinyls. Each tube comes with an easy seal lid, a pog stand for displaying the disc, and a sticky dot for stabilizing the figure inside the... These stack perfectly on top of one another, allowing for multiple display options for your most prized sodas. I don't know about you, but he looks pretty happy in there. Like I said, guys, those are pretty awesome prices. I mean, for $195 shipped, you can get a case, which is 72 of those. So if all you collect is sodas, that's a pretty good deal. Uh, 72 stacks or armors would not cost um, that little. I will have the link to this. By the time you are seeing this video, it is live, ready to purchase. So I will have the link to their site and where you can grab them down below if you're interested. But now we are going to get into the riskier subject. Now I have a few things to say before we start. Now, first off, when I am talking about these pops, I am of course talking about the con stickers because they are and will always be the more collectible one out of the con and shared and as such will always be the more investable one. That said, if you want these just because you like these and you aren't going to the con in person, then just get the shared. It is such a headache and there are so many sticker swaps with shared and con. Again, you don't have to pay crazy prices for a different sticker on the same pop. If you want the con sticker pop and can't make it to NYCC, then I suggest maybe keeping an eye out on Gemini Collectibles website. I know that they usually get a few directly from Funko and they do charge a lot more than retail, but a lot less. Okay, okay. Now on to the list. If you haven't seen the full reveal yet, here is an image of all of the pops being released at NYCC. Now, of course, some have said since there's really no horror on this list, and maybe that's because they're holding these for Frightbox, honorable mention, the Frightbox I just mentioned, this will be almost 100% investable if they treat it like they treat the Funday box. Honorable mention number two, zero, 3K piece with lounge fly bag. This one will sell out, but at $100 retail, will it be investable? Not really sure. So far, none of these pop bag combos have been crazy expensive on the secondary market, so buyers beware. Then flippers. Last honorable mention, the Crow Soda. The Chase will probably be expensive and there are a lot of collectors that want this one, so we'll see. I will definitely be getting one of these. So here is the main list. We are gonna be starting with number five and that is Roger Rabbit. Now the OG set is vaulted and the price has been steadily rising um, over the past few years. The movie is iconic and this pop should hold good long-term value. And the shared version of this pop is a Funko Shop exclusive, so it means it won't be on the shelves everywhere. So I think this one has a good future. Number four on this list is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle slash Mighty Morphin Power Rangers mashup. The turtles are always popular and so are the Power Rangers. There is a lot of buzz around these, but I have seen turtles get buzzed before and it didn't work out so well. Anyone remember this guy? Number three on this list is Steve with the handy dandy notebook. My goodness, if this has, I mean, 
If this doesn't have nostalgia attached to pretty much every single human being in this world, a lot of people are talking about it. And same thing, this will be a shared with Funko Shop exclusive. So again, like I said, this one may have a good future. Number two on this list is Luffy with the Going Merry. This could this could be number one, honestly. Um, this has gotten a lot of hype. People are really excited about it. You know how I love my anime. But it is a very good looking pop. And like I said, um, it seems to have a lot of people very excited. That said, it is a deluxe pop and there aren't a ton of bigger grail pops. Even the current bigger grails had, you know, took a ton of time getting there. However, there is this guy. This one is a Hot Topic shared pop and we all know how they love to restock. So this could hurt the long-term value. And number one on this list is Anakin Skywalker. There is so much hype over this pop. Again, same with the Luffy. They're pretty much going neck to neck right now. Star Wars, of course, has a lot of fans and there are a ton of expensive Star Wars pops. There are even newer ones in the last few years that have come out and gone up and held their value pretty well. This one is an Amazon exclusive, so the shared sticker should be one of the easiest ones to get. That being said, this one definitely has some real grail potential. Well, that's my list. Um, I pretty much came up with this based on a little bit of reseller intuition, but mainly reading the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of comments of what people were getting excited by in the list. I have found that technique to be uh, fairly useful when guessing um, on these types of things. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Drop a comment, let me know if there are any pops on that list you think I missed and could also have really good potential. And let me know uh, what you thought about the list that I made. Well, that's it. I love you guys.